Alright, I've had a lot of requests for this. We are looking at Lex Steepen right now on Spatry's Cup of Lex. Welcome to Linux Deepin. All right, I'd like to thank all the people who uh, sh who sent me out the correct link to download the English version of this. Uh, you would think that on their official website they would have a link to the English version so you could download it. Instead, it's the Chinese version. You have to press F2 at the uh, prompt to run the live CD in English, but the live CD doesn't even uh, have a uh, English install option, which I didn't really care for. So thank you everyone who pointed me in the right direction. And uh, here it is. All right, first we'll start in the upper right corner. You have a uh, link here where uh, you can uh, select your availability and then of course your logout shutdown options and that sort of thing. You have a clock right here, which gives you your calendar. You also have a battery indicator if you are uh, plugged in on a laptop, network indicator, and of course a volume control. All right, minimized here, I want to show you the Deepin Software Center. This takes a little while to load up, so I went ahead and loaded it up uh, beforehand. And uh, as you can see, they did a really nice job with beefing this up. It's very nice. It gives you a clear explanation of the uh, applications that you can install on this. And all in all, I really like uh, how they made this appear. All right, and the next, uh, on the line here, you get a Dead Beef, which is its default music player. You get a sh shortcut to Shotwell and a shortcut to Nautilus. You also get Firefox 10, and of course, you can hide all windows and show the desktop. Pressing the super key or the deep end logo right here will open up your lens where you can uh, see active windows that are open currently I don't have any open at this time and then applications okay in accessories you get archive manager everybody's favorite coffee coaster maker Brazero calculator CHMC disk usage analyzer disk utility gate it GTK hash help screenshot search for files and terminal in games, you get Mahjong, my favorite game, Mines, and the Tetris clone Quadrupacel. In graphics, if it will respond here, in graphics, you get the Events Document Viewer, Image Viewer, LibreOffice Draw, Shotwell, and Simple Scam. In Internet, you get Empathy, Firefox Web Browser, IP Tux. Ramina Remote Desktop, Thunderbird Mail, and you get In Office, of course, you get the LibreOffice Suite. In Other, you get Adobe Flash Player, Bluetooth Manager, the Deepin Software Center, Main Menu, Voice over IP, Network Connections, NTFS Configuration for those of you who are dual booting and you want access to your NTFS file system. Passwords and keys, personal file sharing, startup applications, startup disk creator, and Windows wireless drivers. For those of you who are having difficulty that just have one of those uh, um, wireless cards that just don't like to cooperate. In sound and video, Brazero, Dead Beef, Gnome Also Mixer, Gnome M Player, sound recorder and then in system tools you get configuration editor GW package installer power statistics system monitor and system settings also there are a bunch of uh, neat little uh, wallpapers that you can get with this as well take a moment for this to load up here and as you can see you get a ton of different wallpapers 
that this comes loaded with. That looks kind of cool. And what's nice is uh, the uh, panel, of course, um, is translucent, so it shows through. All in all, this is a nice operating system for what you get, and uh, less than 700 megs to download. As a matter of fact, let me see how big this was. Let me uh, go into my downloads folder here, and it'll tell us here. Um, yes, this was 659.6 uh, .6 megabytes. So, not too bad. This will fit on a CD. You can easily install it from a live CD and that sort of thing. So, all in all, very good. All right, well, that's all I have on this. This is a nice looking, uh, this is a nice looking desktop. A lot of people uh, seem to like this one, and I would have to tend to agree that uh, this is a pretty decent looking uh, operating system, and I can see why uh, people uh, like this. Let's go ahead and press this icon again. Okay, yes, and then uh, we can see the open windows that are available to us uh, by clicking that button, pressing the super key here. Yeah, there you go. All right, so all in all, very nice. Okay, if you thought this uh, review was useful, please comment, like, and subscribe. Google+, Plus, Facebook, and Twitter will keep you up to date every time I send a new video to my channel. Thank you all for watching, and we will see you next time. Mm -hmm.